Welcome to Smart Remarks, where we're still all hopey changey because look at the alternative. So in a completely unsurprising development, here's a screen grab from Drudge this afternoon. Look who's going to Iowa. Surprise, surprise, Sarah Palin's upcoming trip at Iowa is looking more and more like, quote, the kind of outreach common amongst White House prospects, according to the story in the Des Moines Register. Quote, Palin's recent overtures to Iowa reveal a change in posture that puts her in a position like other 2012 presidential prospects already laying campaign groundwork in Iowa to build goodwill and relationships with influential activists. And I thought... Why does this surprise anyone? Look, we told you on this program last year that Sarah Palin is running for president in 2012, okay? To be her run for the GOP presidential nod in 2012. Uh, And we're going to make a little prediction here at Smart Remarks. Not only is she going to run for the GOP nomination, she's going to win it. Why would she not? Uh, Sure, her unfavorables are sky high, and some conservatives groan when they hear her name because they realize they got a real shot at retaking the White House in 2012, but maybe not with her. But if you're Sarah Palin, what's that to you? Some Republicans don't like you. Let them take you out in the primaries because you, Sarah Palin, realize they can't take you out in the primaries. Uh, Last weekend on the mall, Glenn Beck drew a crowd of 20 million or whatever he's saying it was now. And, you know, where's Romney? Where's Pawlenty? But there's Palin uh, talking God, uh, revering the military, speaking the language, pushing all the cultural buttons, visible, showing everyone that she is one of them. She is the base, and that makes her untouchable in the primaries, because you got someone like Romney, what's he going to do? He rips her. That's going to be interpreted as ripping the base. You can't point out a gaffe or a mistake by Palin. What are you saying? Saying she's stupid? Are you saying we're stupid? Outrage! And so here we are, two years away, and Palin's already got him backed into a corner, and she knows it, because let me tell you one thing about Sarah Palin. She's wily. She sees the brass ring, and she's going to grab it. Uh, She is, and she carefully crafts herself to be the absolute epitome of cultural identity politics. She is what we've been moving toward all these long years. God help us. And that sets up a situation where even if the economy continues to stumble, even if Obama's poll numbers stay down, if it's Obama against Palin, well, for Obama... That's a pretty appealing matchup, and smart Republicans know this. And for a long time, every time I've brought up the prospect of Palin in 2012, they say, oh, Palin's not going to run. You're just trying to stir up trouble. Well, sure, sure. But privately, I think they're beginning to worry. And if Palin's trip to Iowa really is all about laying the groundwork, they should. In fact, our family is probably a lot like your family, except maybe Sunday night, you know, we'll have moose burgers, and you guys may have, you know, steak. Maybe that's a difference, but... The other significant difference, perhaps, is that you can read about some of our ups and downs in the checkout aisle at the grocery store. It's not easy to let others see your everyday average challenges. No plaster there on the front page of something. Um, Some of those challenges are made up, though, that some of those challenges, you know, I'm reading it going, never have heard of that one, but okay, I guess that's what we're up to. Strengthening our...